Chin chow. Hi everybody. So I'm gonna go revisit a place where there's been, you know, unabated construction for the past two years, three years. So I'm gonna go check it out again to see what it looks like. Um, you've been there with me and uh, I got a lot of good feedback from it before. So I'm thinking that there's interest in seeing what's going on there. So I'm gonna, it's down by the river, it's that island. I'm gonna go see what video I can shoot with my GoPro and my good Canon. Um, you know, they're building all these big mansions down there. I wanna go take a look, see how far they've gotten. You know, <clears throat> uh, okay, so, so where am I? I'm right by Kurumi, I just had lunch. I'm gonna jump on my moto and scream across the peninsula and jump over. Okay. Um, I'll put my. I'll turn this back on when I get over there. Okay. See ya. So here's the North Point. On this island, and I'm gonna dig out my good cannon with the zoom, and let's take a look and see what we can see over there. It's been building like crazy. Interesting to see. This used to be accessible, and they killed all those little land bridges they just dug them up so now you can only get over there by one very highly controlled bridge it's a elite oasis an oasis for the elites or anybody that can afford a house maybe you're Beverly Hillbillies and not very elite but you can afford a house okay This building here is not on the island. It's there's another body of water between this landmass and that building. So these are on the island. Still looks like construction site. Maybe that one's finished. They look occupied. Wish I had a better zoom. So this is still blocked off. I have no idea why this is still blocked off. It just doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, there's some reason for it. So I'm gonna walk down here a little ways and then film this from here. I hope they have buyers for these already and so they're not just gonna let them rot with no buyers. frame holy mackerel that's gonna be something so there's the end check that out okay let's go see some more stash and boats against the weather Gonna be something. I love the color of these. That's cute. Cute. I love that. That's my new favorite word. Cute. And it's so totally appropriate for Vietnam. 
Cute. Cute's a big thing in Vietnam. Okay, let's go shoot it from the other side. Does that look occupied? There's some people. Gardeners. Huh. Here's an interesting view. There's the women's hospital. Looks like it's got a brand new building. Wow. You know, that went up fast because I haven't really ever noticed that before. Wow. Not like I'm down here every day. So it's interesting they're letting smaller footprint buildings be built in there. Here's the access bridge. Let's cruise over there. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Park my moto in the shade. Palm trees in the way. Bummer. A lot of cool stuff being built all over the city. Huh. So, here's the bridge. hanging out under the bridge, which is where I would be in the hot sun. Those look occupied. Stacks of roofing tiles, maybe. Yeah, those are beautiful. Beautiful. Give you some idea of the location of this. We are south of Latte. There's a Ferris wheel, right? So we're south of Mega. We're south of Latte. We're south of Sun World on this little island. And I'll show you a map. And here's this thing. And here's this thing. 
right? I have no idea the occupancy rate of this. It's probably empty. I suspect it's completely empty. I'll point my camera. I'll, I'll point my, the GoPro on my shoulder at it while we drive down there. There's the bridge. Let me pan through here sort of quickly. What are these guys doing? Laying pavers, right? Those are nice. Are they empty? Do the economists think that high-end units are going to fill before... That's a concrete wall there, two guys. Do the economists think these high-end units are going to fill before these not high-end units behind me. I mean this entire maybe half a kilometer long construction is not occupied. There's a car so maybe I hear some hammering, so maybe somebody's having some work done on one that they bought and they're going to move into. But that's a, an act of utter hope and optimism that these will also be filled up. So you have neighbors, somebody else to defray the costs of maintaining these structures so it doesn't land on one person. So, let's get down to the river there and see what we can see. And then, 
take the little shortcuts and back alleys that I think I remember to get over there. My new flip flops from I Love Fashion Leather Shop in Hoi An. Cool. <laughs> oh, look at these. And it wasn't supposed to get hot today. It was supposed to be overcast and cloudy, which makes all the difference in the world. The clouds go away and it gets hot. Oh my god. Shadows. Better with no shadows. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find our way over there. Okay, it's running good, good, good. Okay, so this is one of the fun little trails. <laughs>
come up. Oh, it does. Oh. Oh, it does. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and put the camera so it faces left and drive down here through through here slowly. So with the left view, so you can see what's here. Because it's kind of cool. I think this is where all the monks live. The monks from this this uh, pagoda. So I'll go slow through here. That's where I came down through, but there's another cooler road up here. This is one of those fun shortcuts.
so here's the little road I was just at the bottom of. That was cool. Nice loop. Okay, let's go all the way around this thing. Yeah. So here's the big pagoda. And this, of course, is a massive video all by itself, which I have done in the past. And if you go look at my old stuff and you see this, you'll see that it was way less built than it is now. Like it's, I don't know if it's nearing completion, but it is way, way, way more finished than it was before. So... park that I was at a minute ago. Where's the big belly Buddha? Mr. Lovely Buddha. Oh, he's right there. Can you see him? He's right there. So I was just across that, this piece of water. this little trip through here. that goes to the left down to the river
so weird. I mean, is the tide really low or is this thing just like way oversized? Are you expecting a Navy guy to come and park here? A, a frigate or a destroyer? Okay, so let's go out this way. So, so this road This road goes there, right? We've been down there before. This is where I've seen cobras. In fact, have I seen two cobras or just one? I've seen four total. <sighs> but that was before all this cobra habitat was removed to the left here. This was jungle for another, you know, out to the water. It was jungle, jungle, thick jungle. And the cobra went from agriculture field to my right here slithering across the road to the left and it was a big one it was 15 feet long easily it went all the way across the road and I didn't see where its head was going big one looking for rats and stuff cats, dogs Hey, I'll splice this in here somewhere. I just want to make a quick comment about the nature of Marble Mountain. Here's, there's one of them right there. And there's another one right there. But these used to be quarried. They're no longer quarried. And there's a community of stone carvers all the way around the Marble Mountains. They're kind of, this is the business that people do down here. And they are no longer quarrying, quarrying Marble Mountain, so they are importing the stone. But there's a really fabulous marble carving community down here, and it's... If you come down here and you wander around Marble Mountain, it's everywhere. They are everywhere. And, you know, all the way around the mountain, all the way around the footprint of the mountain, there are stone carvers. And they do some cool stuff. Like here's the Buddhas and dragons and Christians and coffins, burial thing. Mary, hi Mary. More Buddhas, there's a bunch of Christian stuff over here. You see Jesus carrying the cross. So yeah, it's kind of cool. You know, if I had a big beautiful mansion in the States, I might come back here and order a fabulous statue to be shipped. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, one of my dreams <laughs> have a marble statue of somebody Buddha, Jesus everybody, Vishnu <laughs> shipped to my lodge in northern Minnesota <laughs> okay I'll, I'll splice this in here somewhere 